Hi guys, welcome to this part of the course. In this section, we're going to talk about social media text as it relates to content writing. Now, social media, we're all familiar with social media and uh, I think with every um every new year or new, what should I call it now? Every new season, comes with a new social media platform. So social media is a new platform that allows communication, community building, idea sharing, and interaction. It um, helps individuals and businesses to build a relationship with their audience to establish this um, trust with people that look up to them. As you may know, there are different social media platforms. There's Facebook, LinkedIn, there's TikTok, forums. And when I say forums, I mean Quora, Reddit, and you must be familiar with that because there are some questions you ask on Google that don't necessarily take you to websites. It takes you to Quora to get your answers. So yeah, there's that. So there are different kinds of platforms and each of these platforms has its own peculiarities. For instance, uh, Facebook is both text and visual friendly, while Instagram is more visual friendly. However, it still needs text to be complete. All right, so creating content or writing content for social media uh, depends on a lot of things. Well, most importantly, it depends on the platform the purpose of the content that you're writing and um, what you expect to get at the end of everything. Now, social media is majorly for interaction, at least even on your personal account. You do not, you don't go to Facebook or to LinkedIn or to Instagram to post and expect nothing to happen, right? Like when you post, you, you hope, there's part of you that hopes or wishes that a thousand people would like whatever it is that you have posted, and maybe um, half of them would comment, you know, interact with what you have put out there. And that is the main function of social media. Now, social media text um, has different formats. The, there are three major formats, actually. We have the main text, the captions, and the comments. So for main text here, I'm talking about Centered platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, and Forum. So these platforms, they have, they don't have so much limitation on the length or the number of characters that you can write on the platform. So you can write something as long as a blog post, like you know, copy and paste. You can write as long as 500, 800 words on each of these platforms, and. Uh, post without a problem. So usually it's, um, it focuses on breaking down certain content, again, like blog posts. So you, you pick a topic and you write on that topic. And at the end of it, there is a call to action that tells your readers, you know, appreciates your readers for reading till the end and also tells them to share their thoughts on um, what they have just read now keep in mind that social media is not a website and it is not a blog you must have learned in earlier videos like the web content and the seo kind of writing that um you have to have um headers you have to do all this formatting and uh, subheadings and all of that in social media you do not do that you don't you don't have you don't need to have headings in some cases you might want to put headings but seriously it's not necessary your main goal with social media is <clears throat> to get people to click read more you must be familiar with the fact that even though linkedin and facebook allows long content they don't usually display the entire content they just display a couple of lines maybe three four lines and then there is an option to read more where the reader can decide if they want to read the entire content or they want to move to the next content. So your main focus 
for any kind of social media text. In fact, any kind of writing in particular is for the first few lines to be enticing, to be attractive, to pull somebody in. And in this case, we call that a hook. It has to be, there has to be storytelling, there has to be some kind of fact attached to it such that the person would want to see, oh, where is this person going with this first line? Let me see what is in it. You may have also noticed that on this um, text-centered platforms, at least I've seen a couple on LinkedIn where somebody writes a first line, it's a catchy first line, somehow catchy, and then they add multiple spaces such that you won't see any other thing unless you click to read more. It's not a very good practice because it's like, it's almost similar to clickbait where you just want people to click regardless of if it's going to be important to them. I don't really buy the whole multiple spacing thing, but some people do it just so that um, the reader or the viewer can click to read more and then read the rest of the content. Regardless, you don't need a header. What you need is a very strong introduction on your post that tells the reader what's in it needs for them, like what is the content, what are you trying to talk about, and why should they even care about reading it? So that's what that that's the most important part of your post on social media. Uh, you can use this kind of content to promote blog posts, for instance. So in this case, you give a brief summary of the blog post and then you insert the link of the blog post to the uh, social media post and send your reader there. That would be like your call to action, like, okay, go read this and you can come back or drop a comment there and tell me what you think, something like that. You can use it to mix it or you can use it to share something personal, for instance. Uh, there are so many viral content on Facebook, LinkedIn, that uh, on personal accounts, actually, that the authors, like the owners of the account, were not even the ones that wrote it. Or some of these leadership people, leadership gurus, they usually don't have time to write their own content. What they do is probably a little editing and then they post. Sometimes they don't even edit it. The person managing the account, that does the editing and the posting. So either way, whether you're creating for a business or you're creating for an individual account, you need to be very creative with the kind of words that you choose to use at the beginning of each content. Um, Twitter is also a text-centered um, platform. It's just that it requires lesser characters. So um, for instance, this main text and the explanation is probably too long for Twitter, but I can assure you that if I wanted to post this on Twitter, I can pass the exact same message with fewer shorter words that is not going to exceed the character limit. So that's that. And uh, for captions, captions are for visual centered platforms like Instagram and YouTube. Instagram makes use of visuals like static visuals, pictures, and uh, videos, and YouTube makes use of videos, of course. Now, you may have searched for something on Google before, and in fact, there's there's very little that you're going to search for on Google that you're not going to get a video result. Now, it's not a video that makes um, a YouTube result. It's not a video that makes the content rank. It's the written part of it that makes it rank, the description of that post that makes it rank. So captions are usually shorter, they are punchy, they are, they are funny, but the, the same principle applies. In captions too, you don't get to the platform, like Instagram for instance, does not display the entire caption unless you visited that person's page directly. So you still have to click on read more to see what other thing that the person has written do you get so your caption is supposed to be short it's supposed to be punchy in fact it, it might not even be up to 100 words some people specifically tell you they just want very short captions less than 50 words and that's it that's all they need so it's also um a form of social media text and yes people do pay other people to write only captions just captions that's it and you're going to get paid for that the next is comments. 
Some may disagree, but I can assure you that the comment section is also um, part of social media text, especially for businesses. Some businesses um, uh, promote their products, their services, their, their brand on their pages and usually get questions from people about specific things. So it's up to you or whoever is managing the account to respond to those comments um, in a way that you solve the problem of the person that is asking the question and also you um, promote the brand that you're working for. And like I've said here, it's not always planned, but it, it usually depends on how much you know about the brand. And sometimes there is a script. You don't have to follow the script, um, what's it called, verbatim, but you have to, whatever response you're giving should be based on whatever has been provided on that script because questions are usually similar. Somebody might ask about, okay, uh, maybe delivery process about, uh, other varieties of the product or the services, something like that. So the comment section is also a part where you um, communicate with audience. And tips for social media writing. You have to understand the platform. Like I said, platforms differ. The thing you're going to write on LinkedIn or Facebook, you do not write everything on Twitter because you have of course, there is such a thing as Twitter threads, right? You can break it down into threads, but ask yourself if it's going to make sense to you as a reader if somebody just copies and pastes a LinkedIn post and drops it on Twitter like that. No formatting, no breaking down, nothing. It's going to look different. And remember that when people love or like or retweet um, a post, they don't retweet the entire post, right? That except they actually retweeted the first post. They only retweet the one that makes sense to them. Now imagine you wrote, you just copied and pasted, and then the there's a particular sentence that broke half, halfway, and uh, then there is a next paragraph following it. It, it wouldn't make sense. The visual appeal would be bad, and it makes somebody wonder, what were they even talking about? What was going on exactly? So you need to understand the platform that you're distributing your content before you can before you even decide to start writing. I'm stressing LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook because uh, th these are the platforms that businesses usually um, create a presence, and they often get one person to manage all three platforms. So it's best that you understand that the the way you present written content on LinkedIn should not be the exact same way you present it on Twitter. Then the second point is the personal, be concise, be direct. Again, social media is supposed to be a personal platform, right? We're supposed to be making friends. We're supposed to be on groups, sharing personal experiences and all of that. But um, as with everything, it has evolved and has started accommodating businesses. So regardless of if you're working with a business or an individual brand, you need to remember that social media is supposed to be personal. You're supposed to, you're supposed to add a thought. Well, every kind of writing is supposed to be personal, right? But social media, you have to take it a little bit extra. You have to uh, relate with your audience, with stories, with stories usually. Personal stories always, almost always works to um, attract people to keep it hooked, engaged, and you know, get them to interact with your content. Then understand the brand tone and voice. Now, there are different millions of brands in the world, and there are millions of tones associated with each of those brands. There are brands that are strictly professional. They don't do humor. They don't do uh, jokes. They don't do memes. There are brands that, that are extreme with their humor. In fact, they go with foul words. You see a lot of um, what would, what would I call it, bleep words on their pages, you know, the uh, different kinds of words. And it works for them because the people that interact with their brand, they are comfortable with it. They, they like the way these people create the content. So you do not go 
writing for a humorous brand and then you start sounding like a robot you start you start using big words uh professional tone it's going to it's going to turn people off and they're going to wonder what is going on this is not this is not how this brand speaks something is wrong somewhere so whatever brand whatever business whatever individual that you're joining you need to be able to blend in to their tone and their voice such that the audience the viewers people that are interacting with that content will not notice that somebody new is managing this content that is how good you have to be so usually if you're working for a business it's best that it's a business that you're familiar with a business that the content usually resonates with you and or at least it's similar to a business that you that usually resonates with you and you can mirror that tone you can mirror that voice with them then the next is you use relevant hashtags where necessary hashtags is golden on social media uh, you must be aware that people follow hashtags people uh search specifically for hashtags so uh research is going to give you um everything you need to know about hashtag in fact on instagram that is a very amazing place to look if you search for a particular hashtag it's going to tell you how many people are following that hashtag for instance so and that should tell you that you now it's probably a very um salesy hashtag you know a, a hashtag that brings in sales or brings in engagement or whatever so you need to use um relevant hashtags now keep in mind relevant a hashtag might have 10 million followers, but it's not relevant to your brand. So you have absolutely no business using the hashtags because even if the people that are following the hashtag stumble upon the content that you have created for this brand, it's going to be useless for them. So they are going to have maybe 1 million impressions and then only two people actually um, engaged with the content. That's a very, very poor metric and you do not want that. So use hashtags with high search volume with high followership but make sure that it is relevant to the brand to the individual to whoever it is that you're working with now the next one is understand the role of each content that you put out it's pretty straightforward do you want people to ask you questions do you want people to buy from you do you want people to click a link do you want people to just voice out their opinion do you want people to what do you want people to do at the end of reading this what do you want them to feel at the end of reading this so you should understand that before you start writing for that when you when you understand this it's very easy for you to grade what you've done in terms of the written content and ask yourself and tell yourself nah this paragraph is wrong for this content and you'd be very comfortable cutting it out without feeling like you're you're um you know removing something important then the final is use the right structure and format and remember i said you don't need headers you don't need h1 h2 when you're working with social media you don't need any of that but you do need structure so social media is emoji friendly please and please use emojis and this 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 is a this is very important because text, we have to remember that text at the end of the day are just text. They are words and they are subject to interpretation. So when you write something, when you're done writing the first time, and uh, this is a rule of thumb for me, do not publish or post immediately after you're done writing. Uh -uh. Drop it, give it time and come back to it. The second time you read it, Try to pay attention to every word, every letter, every paragraph there and ask yourself, how many ways can somebody interpret this? If it has multiple interpretations, use an emoji to communicate exactly what you want people to think when they read that um, paragraph. So when I say use the right structure, use the right formatting, I'm talking emojis, I'm talking white spaces, I'm talking correct punctuation. So if you're making a list of something, use this check mark, this green check mark. Tell the person, okay, this is the first list. This is the first point. This is the second point. Use just use relevant emoji, and of course, this also relates to the brand tone and voice. If your brand is professional, it's a very professional brand, for instance. You can use emoji, but don't go using um, fruits. Don't go using all this uh, 
too much smiley and weird expression faces. You can just use the check marks that I mentioned. It's it's personal to an extent, but it doesn't go overboard in terms of humor or in terms of um, appearance. So use the right structure, use the right formatting so that whatever it is you put out there is going to be appealing to people. And even if they don't read everything, so they'll be able to pick something important from what you have written. And that is the end of this social media writing. So as a form of assignment, I would say create promotional social media content suitable for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. For Instagram here, I don't need, you don't have to create an image. If you want to, you can, or you can just download an image and write a caption for it, that's fine. But what I'm asking for here is, um, you want to sell a product, a fashion product. It can be a cloth, it can be a cream, it can be a manicure stuff, anything at all, as long as it's a product. Just create um, something relevant, suitable for Facebook, for Twitter, for LinkedIn, and for Instagram. How would you sell this? How would you promote? It doesn't necessarily have to be to mix it. could just be to create awareness and also promotional. So feel free, think um, beyond imagination and try to create something that works for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Please submit in a document format. Do not send it as the body of an email. That is for writing formatting. So yeah, that's the end of this. Thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next video.